Just in case you don't know what a loop cut is, I thought I'd quickly show you. So all you need to do is select the object that you wish to loop cut. Let's start off with this default cube. You select it, press tab, go into edit mode. Once you're in edit mode, press control R. And then you just go over the surface, either the side or the top. And once you've chosen which one you want, scroll the mouse wheel up and down to choose the amount of cuts that you like. And in this case, I'm gonna use one. Once you've decided on the amount of cuts, left click to lock it in place and then left click to click left click again to decide where you want it. If you want it to be in the exact same place in the middle yeah, you can left click here or you can just right click and it locks in the middle like that. And you can press uh, G, G twice to get it back into this mode if you do so please. The benefit of loop cuts is that it helps you create faces where there once weren't. Currently there was one big face here, but now if we press three, there are two faces, and we, which means we can create a lot more interesting shapes by just messing with these a bit by pressing E or whatever the case may be. And we can create some interesting, unique uh, modeling. And it's not limited to square objects. You can even do it to Suzanne. So we can press tab, go into object mode, select Suzanne, press tab, go into edit mode, and we could press control R and we could loop cut on Suzanne as well. In fact, I use loop cuts like this, two loop cuts, left click, lock into place, and then I press three to choose face select, and I press alt, and I select this entire face. I go to object data properties, I add a group, and I assign that group. So if I deselect it, it goes off, I select it, it comes back. And what makes this super useful, I can also press control I to select everything else and create a group for everything else but that. And I can click assign. We can now go to the materials and choose a material for everything we have selected here. And we might decide we want to use a glossy BSDF. Let's make this 0 0.15 and change to render view. Mess with our render engine to make sure it looks good and uh, possibly change our environmental texture so our glossiness really pops. You can go to hdrhaven.com to find an HDR image. I'm just using a random one I already downloaded. We can also right click, press tab quickly, go to object, right click on Suzanne, shade smooth and give her some subdivisions just to make her look a little bit better, a little bit more premium. Press tab, go into edit mode go to the vertex group and because that, that loop cut we created in the beginning on Suzanne we could click off everything here and then we could just say select that loop cut that we created over here go to our materials we can create a new material new and we just might decide to make this an emission and give it a strength of about 30 and change the well we can try this make it white or we might decide Let's make it blue or purple, whatever color you like. Um, I'm going to use blue in this example. Press tab, go into object mode. And thanks to that loop cut, we easily were able to create this interesting effect on Suzanne. And it helped us remodel this object over here. So loop cuts are extremely powerful. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to loop cutting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.